that's it. Dishonor. Dishonor on your whole family. Make a note of this. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 over the top voice acting performances. You need more power, Jim. Don't be afraid. You had it all along. I never did it. I am not at fault. For this list, we're looking at the most talented voice actors who went above and beyond to bring their animated characters to life. Which voice actor do you think always delivers delightfully over the top performances? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Rob Paulson, Various. What do Pinky and the Brain, Animaniacs, and Jimmy Neutron all have in common? If you said they all feature characters voiced by Rob Paulson, gold star for you. Hey, Mr. Paulson, would you say, are you going to finish that croissant as Carl Weezer? Yeah, are you going to finish that croissant? Dude, oh my god, he said it! Oh my god, it's incredible! You should see it from my side. Pretty weird. While this barely scrapes the surface of his lengthy and impressive credits, it tells you all you need to know about the voice actor. He skillfully elevates his character's goofiness and heightens their entertainment value while nailing a plethora of accents. Pinky had this overbite in which he had trouble producing the sound of ah, oh, really brain, egad. Rain, and you got that right away. Paulson's expertise can unite generations. Whether you're a longtime fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or are eager to catch him pop up in newer guest star roles. Just help us out of here. Oh, with mucho gusto, amigos. Are you guys okay? We're fine. <laughs> Who doesn't enjoy being wrapped in melted mozzarella? There is no doubt he has a tremendous passion for his work. You can hear it in every character he brings to life. Jimmy, I know you're kind of busy, but um. <laughs> Number nine, Eddie Murphy, Mulan, and the Shrek franchise. Mushu and Donkey are arguably two of the most hilarious and beloved sidekicks of the 90s and the aughts. And that's in large part thanks to Eddie Murphy's comedic skills. Thank you. Uh, what do you know? Oh, no. this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. The actor and comedian really lifted the dialogue off the page with his animated expression and overzealous delivery. He's often at his best when bringing comic relief to high-tension scenes or whipping out zingy one-liners. Yes, I just woke up! I'm, I'm the great stone dragon! Good morning! I will go forth and fetch Mulan! Did, did I mention that I was the great stone dragon? So it's hardly surprising that Mushu quickly became Mulan's breakout character. Meanwhile, we are still waiting on a donkey-centric full-length feature. On my honor, I am obliged to accompany you until you have saved your life as you have spared me mine. I'm sorry, the position of annoying talking animal has already been taken. Let's go, Shrek! Shrek? Is it entirely unrealistic to hope for a universe crossover? Now that is a movie we want to see. Both stand out as Murphy's best animated roles, and we are not ready for him to retire either one quite yet. Who am I? Who am I? I am the guardian of lost souls. I am the powerful, the pleasurable, the indestructible Mushu. Number eight, Kristen Schaal, Various. This actress has a distinct voice that is tailor-made for animation. Indeed, it has served her well over the years. I don't know where I am. We're either in a cafe in Paris or a coffee shop in New Jersey. I'm pretty sure I just came back from the doctor with life-changing news. Her unique sound can be heard in Bob's Burgers, Gravity Falls, and BoJack Horseman, among many others. The only reason I wear this shirt is because some company paid me $8,000 to wear it. <laughs> and I don't even need the money. <laughs> just liked that someone still wanted me to wear their shirt. Shaw seamlessly pairs her one-of-a-kind vocals with incredible comedic timing that never fails to breathe new life into her characters. With just a slight change of intonation, she can go from sweet and unassuming to wildly unhinged while still keeping her characters very likable. I love, love, love it. What? Except for this little guy, he's kind of giving me the creeps. This isn't happening. Mother, this isn't happening, right? Has the world gone crazy? In fact, her performances are so exceptional that some casting directors are known to put out calls for a Kristen Shawl type, which sounds like a huge compliment if you ask us. Aren't you going to get in on this? I uh, don't really dance. Yeah, you do. Mom used to dress him up in a lamb costume and make him do the lammy dance. Number seven, Eartha Kitt, The Emperor's New Groove. 
Disney has given us many unforgettable villains, with Yzma consistently placing high among the ranks. She's so fabulously extra, and if the content shown in the Sweatbox documentary is anything to go by, much of that was due to Eartha Kitt's performance in the recording booth. This act of highest treason has but one punishment! Death! God! <laughs> Take him away! Apparently, the actress would perform her scenes, moving like the villainess and making large gestures as she delivered her lines. Much of that enthusiasm translated into her voice and created an antagonist we cannot help but adore. Take it, Kronk. <laughs> feel the power. Oh, I could feel it. Now a moment of triumph approaches! <laughs> She's so theatrical and kooky, and always manages to know when the right moment is to remain softly spoken or scream at the top of her lungs. As far as iconic characters go, Eartha Kitt's Yzma is the full package. I can't believe this is happening! Then I bet you weren't expecting this. No! <gasps> no! Aha! Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Finish them off. Number 6. Gilbert Gottfried. Various. Even if his name doesn't ring a bell, you've most certainly heard his voice before. He played Berkeley Beetle in Thumbelina, Digit in Cyber Chase, and Mr. Mixius Pitalik in Superman the Animated Series. You! I'm not done with you! Not by a long shot! I'll find a loophole! Somehow, someday! However, you'll probably best recognize this voice as the angry and sarcastic Iago from Aladdin. There's perhaps no animated bird more over the top than Jafar's right-hand parrot. There's a big surprise! That's an incredible- I think I'm gonna have a heart attack and die from that surprise! What are we gonna do? We got a big problem here, a big- <clears throat> Gottfried had this unparalleled ability to make his character soar, whether following a script or improvising to his heart's content. Sat in front of the mic, and I read from the script, and then- as I was reading the script, I started improvising and playing with it and having fun. His naturally quirky voice was perfect for his profession, but he always took roles to the next level with perfectly chosen inflections and a flawless knack for humor. I get a buzz when I have you on my wing. You tie my antenna in a knot. His legacy lives on through his countless memorable characters. Number 5. Steve Carell, The Despicable Me Franchise Being an unsuccessful villain isn't easy. However, with the right charismatic voice to pull off his moody and sarcastic demeanor, Gru quickly became a fan favorite. They made him laugh? Ha <laughs> ha! They made him cry! Mm. He never should have said goodbye. According to Carell, finding the line between funny and threatening was tricky, but he definitely found the right balance. Reportedly, he tried out several voices on his kids and ultimately chose the one that made them laugh. Next, we are going to steal! Pause for effect. Like their father, these kids clearly have great judgment for comedic brilliance. And if we thought Gru was delightfully dramatic, we were in for a treat when Despicable Me 3 introduced his even more over the top twin brother, Drew. might not be the most despicable villain, but he managed to steal our hearts all the same. Number 4. Seth MacFarlane – Various The Family Guy creator is arguably one of the best voice actors of the modern era. And we're going for that walk? Oh yeah, definitely, and um, I'll, I'll give you a bath. No, no, no! Oh, sorry, sorry, and, and, and I'll, I'll let you go for a ride in the car! Oh, you better not be lying! You want to sleep in the bed with us? Yes! Oh, I never get to! Must Apparently he had such a strong idea for how he wanted some of the show's characters to sound, that he decided it would just be easier to play them himself. What do you want, Roger? Anything! A carton of Virginia Slims and I want you to make me look like Audrey Hepburn. I can give you all the cigarettes you want, but I can't make you look like Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> You can hear his exceptionally versatile voice in Peter, Brian, and Stewie Griffin, as well as Glenn Quagmire. He also voices Roger and Stan Smith in American Dad and Mike in Sing, among others. These roles are all so different that they require a talented performer who can effortlessly manipulate their voice to animate these larger-than-life individuals. 
Indeed, McFarlane is the perfect man for the job. Plus, have you heard him sing? Chills. Every time it rains, it rains pennies from heaven. Don't you know each cloud contains? Number three, Frank Welker, Various. With more than 860 credits to his name, you will most certainly be familiar with Welker's voice, whether you know it or not. Soundwave acknowledges. Pursue her. Retrieve it. Are you a fan of Scooby Doo? An avid viewer of Transformers? Or have a soft spot for a boo from Aladdin? Well, you can attribute Fred, Megatron, Soundwave, and Aladdin's little sidekick to this voice actor. And the Cave of Wonders. A boo? What? Uh, Abu says, uh, that's not fair. In addition to Abu, Welker brought a ton of other non-verbal animal characters to life through dynamic sound effects and immeasurable ingenuity. Shadrin. He's also the only remaining original actor from the Scooby-Doo franchise. I'll say it was, but at least that creeper didn't get this paper. What's so important about a blank piece of paper? There's only one way to find out. Solve this mystery. It's a true testament to the actor that he can take his talents across such a wide range of roles and create so many remarkable characters. His skills truly know no bounds. Number two, Tom Kenny, SpongeBob SquarePants. A crusty crab pizza is the pizza for you and me. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza ow, ow, and my feet are killing me. You'll recognize Kenny's voice from shows like Rocco's Modern Life, where he played Heifer Wolf, and in Adventure Time, where he was Ice King. However, one character in particular floats to the top of his roster, and he lives in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob is splendidly ridiculous, and everything he says or does is insanely excitable. Safe, 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 yeah, we are safe. That's just a stupid boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. A rock. In the same vein, his charm has kept audiences engaged and enthralled for over 20 years. There's something incredibly affable about SpongeBob's naively optimistic personality, which can be credited to Kenny's love for his work. The actor also voices SpongeBob's trusty pet snail Gary, Patchy the Pirate, the French narrator, and others. I'm a French narrator. A slow day at the Crafty Club. Uh, two hours later. Two hours later. I'm Gary. Oh, I'm Patchy the Pirate. No wonder he's won two Emmy Awards for his stellar voice acting. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Amy Poehler, Inside Out. Any character called Joy naturally has to be a little overzealous. Joy. Yes, Joy? You'll be in charge of the console, keeping Riley happy all day long. And may I add, I love your dress, it's adorable. Oh, this whole thing? Thank you so much. I love the way it twirls. Adam Sandler, the Hotel Transylvania franchise. You can count on Sandler to give an animated performance you can sink your fangs into. You are to stay away and never tell humans about this place, or I will track you down and suck every ounce of blood from your body until you look like a deflated whoopee cushion. Jim Cummings, Various. The actor charmed us in Winnie the Pooh, Sonic the Hedgehog, The Princess and the Frog, DuckTales, and more. Woo! You know that's right. Let's get dangerous. Let's get dangerous, duck. What is a duck? Oh, bother. Let's get, um, dangerous. Mark Hamill, Various. Luke Skywalker is no stranger to some invigorating voice acting for the DC universe. And I'll be smiling again just as soon as we take that man there and slap him in that box there and roll it into that vat of acid there. Josh Gad, the Frozen franchise. So many iconic characters, but only one worth melting for. It's nice to meet you. Because I love you, Anna. I insist you run. I understand your love experts. Ooh, why aren't you running? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. 
Number one, Robin Williams, Aladdin. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Hang on a second. Whoa! Wow! The late, incomparable Robin Williams has voiced some of our favorite animated characters, such as Lovelace and Ramon from Happy Feet and Batty Coda from Ferngully The Last Rainforest. However, there is one character that springs to mind who, above all, is wonderfully and magically over the top. The ever impressive. The one contained. But never duplicated. 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 Williams went above and beyond bringing Genie to life with his iconic arsenal of impressions and famous improvisational skills. He truly went wild while creating this larger than life character, and the payoff is tremendous. Sometimes it gets a little blue, and then, but I'm a genie, so that's not bad. You know, we do the other way right now. To this day, no one can compare to this magical being or the actor who voices him. We guess after being trapped for 10,000 years, Genie really needed to let his freak flag fly, and Robin Williams was just the guy to help him do it. Big group hug, group hug. Ooh. <laughs> do you mind if I kiss the monkey? Ooh, hairball. Well, I can't do any more damage around this popsicle stand. I'm out of here! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.